Good afternoon, Viva MK. Thank you for joining me for this Facebook Live on Thursday, 19th of March, 2020. And of course, as we're all well aware, we're in a very, very much changing landscape. And of course, we're having to adapt the way we live and the things we do. We'll talk more about that in a moment and of course, how it may well affect our business. But we'll come on to that in a moment. Of course, as always, as many aspects of our business that will continue to carry on the way they have them, such as recognition. You know, there's people still achieving great things in our organization, and we must never, ever, ever fail to recognize those people. We also had a competition running last weekend named A Little Something for the Weekend, a rather cheeky, but yes, it was A Little Something for the Weekend. And uh, in these testing times, I think we all need a little something to uplift us. Um, so last weekend, it was a three-day incentive for the largest orders placed and all the orders placed, of course, in a prize draw. So the two largest orders placed last weekend over the three-day period. And um, bear in mind that the reward or the prize for it was £50 vouchers to spend in on any Viva MK products. Is that right, Kirsty? Yes. Thank you. Um, so the two largest orders place was firstly by Peter and Cheryl Creed, a staggering one single order of 397 pounds and 55 pence. Thank you, Peter and Cheryl, and great to see your names on the recognition list. In first place, with a staggering order only last weekend, of 750 pounds and 10 pence, Mr. John Kerr. Congratulations to you. The business is out there. How we conduct it may well change, but it's out there. Two huge single orders. Congratulations to you. Now to pick um, two people who also placed an order last weekend. They're all in this draw and to pick out two winners who will also receive the same reward. Firstly, we have Chris Ritchie, congratulations, Chris. Really great to see you on that uh, winning list. Congratulations. The first one to Chris Ritchie. And the second one, um, let's have a look. Here we go. Second one, no, that can't be right. It's Chris Ritchie. Now, <laughs> I am certain that's your fault. <laughs> now, I'm certain Chris won't mind me doing that typical isn't it if they're all going to be chris rich if you play a trick on me are they all chris richie chris i'm certain you'll want to give that away to somebody but if you don't we'll pull a third one yes you'll be entitled to two but if you want to give that away i'm going to take another one out if this is chris richie i'm coming over there to smack you right okay let's have a look <laughs> <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Tony and Jules White for Sulo. Congratulations to you on placing that order. And we'll sort out all three of those. It's only fair that Chris does get it twice, actually. His name was pulled out twice and every order did go into the draw. So congratulations to double winner Chris and Jules and Tony for being the second winners of the £50, or in Chris's case, £100, of um, Viva MK products. Um, as you know, um, we also do every week the top five retailers. And last week, um, the week that ended, sorry, week three, period three, which ended yesterday, of course, week four started today. And in week three, period three, in position number five, Peter and Cheryl Creed. Again, fantastic to see you back on the listings. Fantastic that you're engaged in the business like you always have been, but great to see you on the list. Number four, Michelle and Brian Hewitt. Congratulations to you. Number three, Stephen Payton. Number two, John Kerr, no surprise there. And of course, no surprise at all for the number one highest retailer of week three, period three, Ali Lloyd and Jeff Locke. Congratulations for everything you do and for all the business you're creating and generating. Not only that, for the community spirit you're creating in these very testing times. 
As you know, next week, it's the Garden Outdoor Catalog available to buy on Tuesday. We'll also give you a full catalog update next week um, because I did promise you five catalogs in March. There may be some delay, but at the moment, there isn't. I'll tell you now at the moment, there isn't. But of course, with the country and the challenges that we're having within the country is having an impact on one or two things. Not a great impact yet, um, but I will keep you updated almost on a daily basis if I need to, to tell you where we are with the business. So recognition, like I say, stays vitally important, as does, you know, the welfare of every single person in this business. I've said it to you before, I will say it again. Two years ago, I named this business the people's business. Now, we have to prove it is the people's business. I have to prove that I meant every word that I've said for two years and what the people's business really stood for. And what the people's business stood for then, and has stood for every single day since then, and stands for today more than ever before, is that people have to come first. People's safety has to come first. People and their loved ones have to come first. And that is you people in this business, the business that I manage with my team here. And yes, we're all still here, um, have to come first. And it's never been as pertinent as it is today. You know, our landscape is changing on a daily basis, our support system, the logistics in our business, the picking and packing and the delivery agents all tell us business as usual. That's as of now, right this minute, it is still business as usual. But we are in an ever changing world. You don't need me to tell you that. You know, I don't want to sound like Captain Obvious, but it's happening everywhere in our world, in our country. But we have a business that will have to adapt. It will need to change wherever necessary. But I will tell you something, that we will do everything we possibly can to make sure that not only this business prevails, but we prevail as a community. We have to. This is what the business was all about. The people's business putting people first. I will kid you not that what matters most is your safety, your loved ones, and of course, the wider community. You know, I'm one of millions of people preaching the same thing. You, you hear it time and time again. But we have to take this responsible approach. To that end, I've told you that I'm available, as are my team, 24-7 to, to support you in any way we possibly can. You have my email address. It's mk at vivamknetwork.com. Thank you for all the messages over the last 24 hours. You feel free to communicate 24 hours a day if you want to. Nobody at this time should feel alone um, in a world where we're all coming together. You know, yesterday I was um, going from supermarket to supermarket because I've done... I've bought nothing and I just needed some anodins to be to be fair and I couldn't find them. I went to three or four supermarkets and the proximity of people and the way they were barging into each other, the way they were queuing, the, the danger of the checkout people, of the closeness was anything but safe in my humble opinion. There were so many people crammed together. I know supermarkets are taking measures to address that. My point is, is that what we do in our business, and I am not going to tell you what you should do. You know, you have to use common sense and put your safety first. There are ways we can conduct this business and I'm seeing some wonderful, heartwarming stories, not of sales. I don't give a damn about the sales. I'm getting heartwarming stories where your customers have congratulated you on being at the doorstep, offering that service, keeping that distance. Even if you've had to shout from the gateposts for pleasantries, you've left your catalog bags on the doorstep. You've left products on the doorstep. You've knocked on the door. You've walked away. You know, when I saw 
the shambles going on in supermarkets. Yes, and you've all seen it. You've seen it in social media. You've witnessed it yourselves. I've never seen anything like it. And yet we can offer a community service. But I never want it to seem that we're being mercenary in these times because I don't want to do that. You'll never see a price increase from me. You'll never see a price hike. You will never see products just rushed in of any nature just to sell in times where people are vulnerable. We cannot and will not ever do that. But for those of you who can, because you're well enough and the most of us are, unaffected and you can give the service that we are capable of giving then use your common sense and do that service this is not about sales you know we have a lot of people in our business that rely on this income we have a lot of people that use it as their only income we have a lot of people at the doorstep in households that want to see you um, and now like i say if that means knocking on the door stepping away using common sense shouting from the gate post delivering the products well we here will do everything we possibly can to support you to do that. We'll keep the supply chains open. Our logistics team, as of this minute, tell us it's business as usual. The rest is down to you as individuals. Share your stories, share your successes, share your victories, share everything you possibly can. Because like I've said, this is the biggest test of the people's business we will ever see in our lifetimes. And I'm not even sounding dramatic now. This is the state of the world. It's changing as every single minute goes by. So if you can offer that service, then offer that service. Put your safety, the safety of your loved ones and the safety of the wider community first. You know, we're here to do anything we can. We started this and this is going to be our biggest test, probably the biggest test of our lives, um, not just to care for each other, not just to watch over each other, but to make the business prevail and make ourselves prevail. And I think we can do that. But I'm just speaking from optimism, you know, because I've never been one to back down with any challenge, but I have to also be sensible and responsible. Not two words I've often used in my vocabulary to describe myself, neither has anybody else to be fair. Um, but I have to be sensible, I have to be responsible, and therefore I plead with you to put your safety first, the safety of your loved ones first, and the community, the wider community, the people that you take products to, the places where you drop catalogs. So far, the stories have been unbelievable, um, you know, of, of the gratitude that you're getting from doing what you do. You know, we, 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 we deliver catalogs and we deliver product and we can keep a distance whilst keeping that spirit there. And like I said to you, we're never going to be seen as mercenary or, 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 or preying on the vulnerable because today the entire country is vulnerable. So let's just do what we can. But most importantly, do what we can to stick together and work as one. You know, I will stay available every single day and every single night as long as I possibly can. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that is going to be through all of this, um, as are the team. You know, we've all, I've told everybody, they're more than welcome to work from home. Everybody has got that free will, but we're still here because we know that we need to support the business. Um, and we want to do that because it is the people's business. There's not much more to say now at the moment. So, Listen, it's business as usual where our logistics are concerned. Please use your common sense. Let's all be safe in this ever-changing landscape. I will communicate to you every day if necessary, twice a day if necessary, just to tell you where we are and what's going on. As far as I'm concerned, yes, we're in very testing times. There's no joke about that. There's nothing to be said about that except 
You know, we just have to do the possible best that we can in this community-based business where I think not only do we have to support each other in the business, but we can support the wider community the best that we possibly can. So take care of yourselves and we'll speak soon, no doubt. Look after yourselves. Bye.